Welcome back everybody. I'm Nat Thoreau and I'm back on the scene with another video. And I'm back with another Peter video. This one is Coffee at the Worst Reviewed Cafe in Eastern Europe. Now, I think I've seen most of his uh, Worst Of series. Uh, I think there might be like one or two more videos. Um, don't worry, I have heard all of you um, talking about his new um, series about Slovakia. And um, I'll definitely check out uh, those in the future once I'm probably done with this uh, this series. But he also does have the best hotel in Eastern Europe. Like he, he also does like the good ones. So I definitely want to give those a, a view too. But anyway, anyway, let's uh, let's get to this video. Let's check it out. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hi Eastern Europe fans. On our last episode, we went to the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic. Apparently, we ended up wasted sleeping enough near garbage cans. My Damn. grandmother used to say that the best <laughs> cure for hangover was a nice bowl of pig's head soup. I disagree. I personally like a strong coffee and something sweet whenever I feel like I got ran over by a truck. Let's grab a coffee then. Where? Sounds good. I don't need to tell you that. Oh, damn. He mentioned a pig's head earlier. <laughs> now, I know in his videos, he uh, Peter's always like, he's trying to portray like a, I guess a stereotypical poor Eastern European. And of course, I know not everybody eats those kinds of foods there. But still, like when he mentions them, it, it does get me wondering like, I guess how common is it because i know prob probably some people do eat that stuff but um i still get curious i guess as to how commonplace it is but as far as like <laughs> as far as like the what he's putting out there i know it's supposed to be like a a stereotype on like on um you know like that culture so yeah so i know it's not meant to be taken seriously but <laughs> but still it, he he i don't know i think he, he does a good job Alright, let the search for the worst reviewed cafe begin. Mm. We're finally in a country that uses Yelp, the Czech Republic. Let's type coffee and tea here. Two things I need badly right now. Alright, sort by <laughs> highest rated. The problem with Yelp is that you find businesses with one or two reviews. So we're looking for a cafe that has at least 10 reviews so we are sure that we're going to a bad place. Oh yeah, it's Fair right enough. in front of my eyes. Cafe Bar Trinity. One star. For the first time in this series, we're going to a place that has the lowest possible rating. Matko, co chcesz? Bursz to się? No, nie są nechcą. Okay, see? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Speaking of shit, he's got. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> uh, he's got shit in his leg. He's holding, like, the, the pig's feet and all that. I know it's like that. He's he's playing up that <laughs> no stereotypes. <but laughs> oh, why, Vlad? Just, just why? I gotta go to TripAdvisor to check if it's really that bad because TripAdvisor usually has more reviews. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe this. It's the worst reviewed cafe on TripAdvisor as well. Well, now we're Ooh. pretty sure we have never been to a place this bad on this series. The photos look pretty normal, so let's check the reviews and find out why Cafe Trinity is probably the worst place in Eastern Europe. The bill came, I paid, and the waitstaff demands a chip. I was going to give standard 20%, he demanded more, he was very rude about it, he would wow. not let me stand up <laughs> until I gave him more. I barely give negative feedback, but people in this place treated us with disrespect. I ordered two of the same dessert and server responded with, no, you said one! Worst service ever. <laughs> These assholes should be deported to Syria. Horrific food on top of that. They really don't belong here in the beautiful city of Just Praha. Just paid 11 pounds for a single glass of <laughs> orange juice. If the overall experience had been a good one, I wouldn't be so infuriated by this. Don't the go here. Tourist trap. That service and way overpriced. We needed a quick coffee while it was raining and it came out like a giant cup of warm milk. Not worth it. This reminds Damn. me of the Prasiatko <laughs> restaurant that we visited in Slovakia about ah. a month ago. The worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia but 10 times worse. Root staff, very, very overpriced, shady, 
well, this is gonna be an experience. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward, but I gotta have my coffee. You gotta do it. And something sweet. So I'm gonna wash my cameraman and head to the worst <laughs> reboot cafe in the Czech Republic. Yes, Vlad, you need a freaking shower, bro. What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> also, I swear to God, if he goes to this place and like, you know, the staff has been has been changed and like the prices have gone down, like all of a sudden he has a good experience, then he has like some kind of weird luck with this stuff. Then again, he did uh he did have some pretty life-threatening experiences when he visited other countries, so balance. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Suffering from a strong hangover, we got on a tram, poured ourselves some reviving vodka and got ready for the worst cafe in the Czech Republic. <laughs> Socks with sandals? <laughs> uh, in case you're, won you're wondering why I'm laughing at that, he... He, uh, he made fun of that in his uh, Worst Things About Czech Republic video. He did like this fake fashion scene. <laughs> <laughs> where like the guy's dressed all like he's dressed all bad and he's wearing socks with sandals but anyway if you, if you haven't seen that video i'll leave a i'll leave a link in the description below but anyway we're in front uh, of the rotating head of franz kafka one of the prague's landmarks here in the city center it reminds me of my childhood when my daddy strangled my mother and her head was kind of rotating <laughs> Ah, good old times here in Eastern Europe. We're like one minute away from uh, the worst reviewed cafe here in the Czech Republic. Let's have <laughs> some overpriced espresso and a dessert. Let's go. We're in the heart of Prague. This cannot get more central. We're in the center of a city center and uh, I can already see Cafe Trinity in front of us. Oh we may boy. be entering <laughs> the biggest tourist trap in Eastern Europe. My wallet is going to cry soon. Let's go. Uh. By the way, we're pretending we're Americans again from Kentucky. This is an American with very strong Bulgarian roots. It's so expensive. Okay, so he's portraying to be American again. I mean, that probably increases your chance of getting overcharged. I mean, we're hated globally. And so if this place already overcharges people, then they, they'll probably <laughs> charge you even more if they find out that you're American. So, <laughs> all right, let's see. All right. Ready or not? Yes. Um, I'd like to have an espresso. Yeah, for me, cappuccino. Yeah. And uh, we'll probably pick some dessert in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Two things that I gotta tell you right now. This is incredibly expensive. Incredibly expensive. Beer costs 4.5 euros here. The juices or, or non-alcoholic beverage cost like mm. 4 euros. Coffee is 4 euros. Um, espresso is almost 5 euros here. And the desserts, there are like 7 to 8 euros each, but maybe it will be the best dessert of our lives. The second thing that I noticed uh, is that the staff mm. is, again, not as rude as we expected. So far, so good. Smiling, helpful, not pushing. Not great, not terrible. Not great, not terrible. 3.6. Now, actually, the staff is great so far. Hmm. So he said that it was really expensive. And thinking about the prices here, like, let's say if I go to Starbucks, um, if I get, say, like a medium, a medium coffee, um, I mean, Starbucks is pretty expensive. It probably would come out to uh, maybe four or five dollars. The thing is, though, it depends on what drink you get. Like, if you just get regular coffee, um, a medium one would probably be. I haven't gotten regular coffee at at Starbucks in a while, but I would think it'd be like around four bucks for a regular one. But if you get um, if you get like a specialized drink, like if you get like a caramel mocha latte or something like that, and if you get like a medium size, that's probably going to be like over five dollars, um, and plus with tax, I would say maybe around six bucks. 
And then they also sell breakfast sandwiches. So at least where I'm from, if you get a, one of those breakfast sandwiches, they're like about this big. It'll cost around um, close to $5. And if you get one of those specialized coffees, uh, medium sized, it'll probably cost around six. So you're uh, just for those two items, a medium uh, coffee and the breakfast sandwich by itself, you're looking to spend around $11. So yeah, pretty expensive. Espresso? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we need like two more minutes to pick the dessert. Only Thank two. you. Three. Such a funny guy. Such a funny guy. <laughs> Do you want my sugar as well? Oh, sure. fuck me. In the south part of Kentucky, from where Vlad is from, they put three sugars in one cappuccino, apparently. He likes the sugar. <laughs> I'm not a coffee guy, but I think the coffee's good. It should be fucking good when it costs four euros. How's the cappuccino? Mm. The image of the second? Not great, not terrible. No, it's a normal cappuccino. Normal cappuccino, right? I wonder if there ever was a godlike cappuccino. What can be inside a godlike cappuccino? You're drinking it like water, man. So the coffee part is <laughs> over. Let's uh, pick some really overpriced dessert. I'm gonna up for the tiramisu for 7.5 euros. Okay. Vlad is gonna take uh, trdlo or trdelnik. Most tourists here think that this is a, a pure Czech thing, but in fact it isn't. There's also um, a shop with, that sells trdelniks right behind us and we're very curious if they're gonna buy one from there and we're gonna check the prices there it's literally like five steps away from us right now mm. right um so i'm gonna have the tiramisu yes and for me with nutella yeah yeah he go, he go cool right he's going there he's going there he's actually buying the tiramisu right in that shop. I cannot believe this. They're buying it right in front of our eyes. Well, <laughs> okay. I, my first thought is maybe they have, maybe that little, um, I guess stand is, is part of the business or maybe they just have a partnership with them. I don't know. But if not, then that's pretty messed up that they'll buy it from there for a certain price and then give it to you and then charge you more. Yeah, that would be, <laughs> that would be like, whoa. What? Like, come on now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Get on this one with it. All right. Take it? Yeah, you can take it. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot believe that this thing costs four euros. He bought it and he just uh, spread the Nutella inside. Yeah. Thank you very much. So you're welcome. Enjoy Thank it. you. Thank you. Mm. Good. I like it. It's not the best tiramisu I've ever had. Looks pretty good. I would give it probably 3.6 out of 5. Not great, not terrible. Every time something is average, it's 3.6 out of 5. Not great, not terrible. <laughs> Definitely not worth 95 Czech crowns. It's, it's dry. It shouldn't be this dry. This is not 3.6, probably 2.6. So more terrible than great. The ice cream here is, is bland. I'm decreasing the rating to 2.6 as well. Mm. More terrible than great, this tiramisu. I don't know what's the flavor of the ice cream, to be completely honest with you. It has no taste. Something like vanilla with a little bit of... Nothing? Air? I'm thinking about all the reviews. <laughs> there are basically only one-star reviews of this cafe. What I don't understand is that when someone comes in here, he can have a look at the menu and see the prices. And if that person doesn't like the prices, he or she can just uh, leave. Yeah. Like, what's the point of staying here and paying that high prices if you're if you're not happy with them, and then be mad after paying that and leaving a review like this? It's overpriced. It is expensive, but you can always check the menu first and then leave. I yeah, that makes sense. I mean, if it was. If they gave you a menu that didn't have the prices and then you just had to order and then find out what you pay until the end and all of a sudden it's extremely overpriced, then yeah, I can understand those reviews. I would think that most people that are leaving the bad reviews are upset because one, it is so overpriced and then they experienced bad service. So to them, that's like the ultimate, like, ultimate bad experience. We overpaid for our food and the service was terrible. 
Um, but as far as just the pricing itself, if they've got the prices listed, then you can't really complain too much. But um, I guess me personally, if I did eat somewhere um, expensive and then had shitty service, then I mean, I, that would upset anybody. Also, you have to understand when you're in a big city like that and you're like out in those like shopping districts, you have to expect that things are going to be expensive because a lot of tourists are there too. So, yeah, I mean, Peter, as usual, always makes a good point. But anyway, let's keep going. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I would just leave. Well, this tiramisu definitely wasn't worth 171 Czech crowns. I ate some desserts that cost this much. And they were divine. Gordon Ramsay like. <laughs> this was just a typical tiramisu with a very bad ice cream. Fresh orange juice for 159 crowns. Tea for 5 euros. Tea. Yeah. Small sparkling water for 105 crowns. 6 euros for one Red Bull. It's a typical tourist trap. Alright, uh, the last thing we're gonna try is mm. a cocktail. Very overpriced, again. Let's have the most common cocktail of all of them. I've had many mojitos in my life, so I can, compare, I can compare this one to the others. Let's gonna end this with a mojito. More than 10 euros for, for any cocktail. If it's a double cocktail, it's almost 20 euros. I would expect to pay 20 euros for a Damn. drink, probably the best bar in the world somewhere in Singapore not in Prague this is way worse than the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia that we visited about a month ago can I order um, one mojito please yes small oh uh, yes yeah, small mojito okay just one that's it yeah that's it okay fair enough it it really just depends on the bar that you go to um, some of them are just outrageously expensive I mean depends on how popular they are and yeah the location once you get a better understanding of the city you start to find bars that you know are more reasonably priced and then have like an also a good atmosphere but um yeah i when you go to a city for the first time when you don't know that kind of stuff yeah you can end up paying a lot for for food and drinks so yeah thank you so Only just one. one yeah just one mojito okay. thank you thank you very much you're welcome thank you you're welcome Let's taste. This is the worst mojito I've, I've ever had. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> it's like drinking uh, lime water. Or plain water. Plain water with a little bit of lime. We're paying $12 for this. There's no alcohol in here. Well, after the really Damn. nice experience and the worst reviewed bar here, we're having a totally different experience in the worst reviewed cafe. I'm being so negative right now, but I'm it's so true. pissed off. Twelve dollars for this. I cannot finish it. It's like drinking water. Why would I finish it? This sealed the deal. The mojito convinced me that this is probably the worst place in Eastern Europe. Let's just get the bill and leave <laughs> and tell them what they think about it. Okay, I'm gonna finish the mojito only because we need the servers to come outside. We've been waiting 10 minutes for the servers to show up because we want to get the bill. Can we get the bill, please? Cash card. Uh, card. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Espresso, cappuccino, mojito, trdelní bit, Nutella and tiramisu. All right. 7.46. All right. Service not included. 33 bucks. Okay? Yes, 10% service. Thank you very much. Možeme vám něco povedat? Určitě. My jsme z Ameriky, my chodíme po nejhorší hodnotených městech. Víte o tom, že toto je nejhorší hodnotená kaviaren v Československu? Podle vás nebo podle recenzí? Podle, podle, podle recenzí. Podle recenzí. Podle recenzí. Podle recenzí. Věřím, podle věřím, tomu, věřím tomu, protože já teda můj osobní názor je ten, že když bude chtít někdo jakoby někoho pochválit, tak to není úplně tak že by jasne, bylo toužil, jo, ale šťastně někdo naštvaný, Fair enough. tak samozřejmě jasne. je to to. A, a oni jsou, ľudia jsou naštvaní kvůli čemu, keď vlastně oni přijdou sem a můžou si pozrieť tie, ano. lebo je to drahé, je to velmi drahé. samozřejmě je tady, je to drahé pro nájem všechno, Je to velmi drahé, ano. Ale ľudia to ale... Wait, what happened to the captions? They're not displaying anymore. Hm, oh well. Ale ľudia to vidia a napriek tomu 
tu ostanú a ano, potom ano. sú naštvaní, ano, to ano. trošku nedáva zmysel. Možno ten servis fíš ich vie naštvať, alebo ja neviem. Ne, to sa nemyslím, to sa nemyslím. A kvôli Nebo čomu? Takhle, Lebo napríklad, takhle, to vy neviem. ste boli dneska super, usmievaví, všetko děkuju, perfektné. Děkuju, děkuju. Tak to ja teda by... nechci sa nejako už, alebo to, ale slyším to skoro denom denne, že to... Oh, že there they are, Naruto. Nebo takhle, Wait. Okay. Okay, so the, the captions all of a sudden came back. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me throw that back again really quick. Naruto screwed already. Na druhej strane, na druhej strane, mali sme také dva problémy. To mochito. Oh my god. To bolo asi najhoršie mochyto, čo som tady to, tady to, jo. Bol, 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 bol tam alkohol. Bol tam alkohol. Jednak som ho necítil a jednak to chutilo ako limetková voda. Za, za 12 dolárov. Vôbec. Ká druhá vec, trdelník. Môžem sa spýtať, tu keď si niekto obedná trdelník, vy ho idete sem kúpiť za 60 korun. Nie kúpiť, to je stejná spoločnosť. No to je stejná spoločnosť. There you go. Okay, so that was my initial thought that the same that same um, cafe owns that small stand that's uh, selling the desserts. Okay, well then, I mean, I I really couldn't get mad at that if that's the case. The captions, <laughs> they are they are back in force. <laughs> I'm liking these captions, but anyway, let's continue. To chce se servisy, když to řeknu blbě, Aha, jasně. že si chce sednout a obsluhte mě, <laughs> tak jsou takhle ty a máme jenom tyhle tři varianty. Taky přijou lidi a ptají se, jestli si můžou kopit tady trdlo a jít sem. A tak můžu, ale bude. Můžou za podmínky, že si dají trdlo. A vysvětlíte mi, kde jsou tu ty zlí čašníci, lebo já všade počulám to a všade v těch recenziách je, že Hrozne hnusní čašníci a to sú všetci v pohode, všetci usmievaví. Ja třeba, vemte si, že dneska sa vám připadal v pohode. A včera přímo tady u toho stolu mi sedela pani, pravdepodobne Indie, bych typoval nieco takového. Áno. Byla to malinká holčička, tak 6-7 let, jej maminka a jej maminka. Sedeli tady, dcera celou dobu tady pobíhala po place, s citronem, vykvosila citron, zahodila, proste to hodem, nezajímalo nic, byla dovnitř ve. Říkám, ty že něco neřeknou. A jdu a platila paní 705 korun. Dala mi takhle dvě pěti stovky, dvou korunu, dvou korunu, korunu. A já na ní koukám a říkám, jako, že tomu nerozumím. Že jsem jí říkal, jako, že to, že cena je 705, proč teda mi dává 1005, že je to, protože logicky já nechci další 5 korun. To radši vydám 95, než abych si bral a chodil tady s takovouhle kasírkou. Ano, ano, jo, to jasný. taky nejde. Hmm. Tak říkám jako, uh, proč mi takhle připravila. Tak jsem si i třeba v duchu říkal, že mi třeba řekne něco pro mě nebo takhle. A ono mi říká, this is 705, 300, give me back. Tak říkám, OK. A než se mi to dá, tak ona takhle vzala ten kůčtejku a spadla jí takhle dvou koruna na zem. A já říkám, sorry, only three crowns. A ona, yes, two crowns is down. Hmm. Tak v tu chvíli si člověk říká, hmm. tak jako co? Mám to tady nějak ano. jako... Okay, well, with circumstances like that, I mean, there's always two sides to every coin, you know, like, someone can give a bad review, but you never really know what that person was doing. It can very well turn into a he said, she said thing, but, oh man, the whole, the misbehaving kids, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, if you're not keeping your kids in line, yeah, that's, I mean, you're not, not only like are you annoying the staff but you're probably annoying the other people who are there you know just trying to have like a a nice meal i remember when i used to work at the i used to work at a movie theater and i mean there was someone whose kid was just crying and, and making noise and you go in to tell them like hey you need to you know you need to calm your kid down if your if your kid is making noise please you know step out of the theater you know to calm them down and then bring them back in when they're quiet because you're disturbing people. And those people would get an attitude back and be like, oh, it's it's just a it's it's just a little kid. Like they they cry or make noise. But there's nothing you can I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm like, it doesn't it doesn't matter why the kid's crying or whatever, just don't disturb the other people and get up and and <laughs> and uh calm them down. Like some people are just really inconsiderate that way. It's like, how dare you make me leave just because my child is disturbing other people i want to see the movie it's like come on how 
Uh, how, can, how inconsiderate can you be? This server seems nice, reasonable, so... But who knows, he's only one server. Then there could also be bad servers too. <laughs> so I've, I definitely have seen the best and worst of both worlds, for sure. I think it's very difficult when you to stále I'm very pragmatic, so I have But there are people who don't have so much. For example, your colleagues are also <laughs> Let's say impulsive. <laughs> not included. So, that means that. This is the first time the reviews were actually true. Well, almost true. If it wasn't for the friendly server, I would give the worst reviewed cafe in the Czech Republic the lowest rating. But since I'm an angel, I'm giving Trinity Cafe two stars out of five. Wow, I think I'm getting a second job after this experience. Thanks for watching. <laughs> an insane season finale coming soon. Goodbye, Ooh. or as we say here in Eastern Europe, get the fucking camera out of my face. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that was coffee at the worst reviewed cafe in Eastern Europe and they were at the Czech Republic. So, I mean, I'm glad, you know, they had a good experience. Um, they had a good experience with the server. He seemed, he seemed really chill, very reasonable. I mean, as far as the, um, as far as things being overpriced and then the food or the drinks not being very well hey it's kind of a hit or miss thing i've been to places where hey it's overpriced but at least it, you know the food and drink was really good and then of course i've been to places where that just wasn't the case and then when you think about it after you pay and then you leave sometimes you start thinking i just paid 30 bucks for that <laughs> for what i just had and quite honestly like that can be such a huge turnoff to the point where, like, you, you're you just never going to return. I mean, yeah. But at least he was honest about it. The guy said that we're probably one of the most expensive places. So, if anything, that's where his, his extra star went, which, totally reasonable. Let me know what your experiences were, you know, going to, like, I guess, expensive restaurants, maybe tourist traps in other countries. Let me know those experiences in the comments below. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as usual, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, show some love in the comments below, do all that good stuff. Keep giving me recommendations, um, and I'll see if I can get to them, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.